I'm Marcel, and we're here at Anaheim, California, uh, NAM 2017 at the Antelope Audio booth. I'm with a, a friend of mine, Chris James, and we've known each other like for the better part of 10 years or so. Almost the early days of Antelope, we reached out, and you got interested in our stuff, and now you're using a Ryan 32 and a 10M clock, and you were using Orion 32s, you had to get one or two of those you were using uh, with Prince when you were working with Prince uh, for the last couple, of, two, three years off and on, right, on different projects. And so I want to ask you about that. It's very, you know, um, we're both like kind of having still, I guess, are uh, grieving a bit, you know, uh, of losing somebody I was a big fan of and have a lot of friends in that camp. And then you worked closely with him on his, on his last work and you're actually Tech Award nominated uh, and Grammy nominated this year for yes. some of your work with, with uh, Prince and his recent work. And you also are mixing for Kings of Leon, right? Right, broadcast mix. Broadcast mix for Kings of Leon. So uh, talk, let's talk a little bit about, um, can you talk about some of the projects you use the Ryan 32? This, we could have never done this. You know, it's one of the mixed emotion things about this, but it's so, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's amazing, you know, they, they use different stuff and different Prince projects through the years, and David uh, uh, Dave, uh, Hampton uh, years ago uh, used some of our stuff. So, I mean, just talk about some of the stuff you used the Ryan 32 on, I guess, with him to start off. Well, initially, we were recording the record, and then when it was time to tour, I needed a portable solution that was easy to capture the performances. So I think that was shortly after the 32 came out, and I was just like, this is amazing for its size and space, and it's easy to plug in, and you're done, you're ready to go. There's no, you know, unraveling of cables and stuff. It was just like, you got your USB, and it just worked, and I needed, it had the right amount of inputs and sonics. So that was the main thing. I tried it out at the studio, prior to touring and we did a couple of string overdubs with it and it passed the test. It sounded great. So I decided to use that on the tour to capture. And then now what is it that you're using the Ryan you've obviously switched to Ryan 32 and 10 M like I said in your room. What is, what what has that meant for you and what what were the reasons you made that switch? Well life before and after the 10M is just kind of like a thing that if you're a fan of it, it's one of those things that you can't really live without it. It just opens up the sound field, the width, the depths, the frequency, everything just feels more natural and more like what it should sound like in an analog domain. So it's kind of hard to go back once you've heard it. What was it like working for Prince well, it's an incredible honor, first off, because I was such a huge fan from childhood. So to be in the domain of him creating was just, I was mesmerized, just being in the room and hearing drums, bass, guitar, keys, vocals, all that stuff going down. It was just like a kid at a candy store, consistently. And um, I don't know how to how to explain it other than you were just mesmerized, you were just genuinely blown away at the, the craft of songwriting and production. I learned so much from him as an arranger and a, a musician, like, it's almost osmosis. I, I didn't play a whole lot of instruments while I was there, but I played guitar, drums, bass, keys, and just being in the room with him, seeing how he picked or how he Threaded. It was just like you soak some of that in and it gets in your bones and I became a better musician just being around them. Just seeing it happen and then like I said I learned so much as an arranger that was probably the biggest thing I took away from it. I'm sitting here realizing we just we, we interviewed uh, we, we spoke uh, with Danny Leake who's uh, Stevie Wonder's uh, front of house. We just talked to him for a minute and I know that he you know, was also grieving from uh, from this loss and how you know that those two were tight. So it's kind of a small world. Uh, thanks again for Danny for talking to us as well. And check out that video, that interview. It'll be amongst our uh, highlight uh, video of uh, of Nam 2017. And thanks again, Chris, and good luck with the with the touring, with the broadcast, the mixing, and and all the producing you're doing. Thank you. Thank you so much.